go to Martin in Beirut here. Let's go first cir uh, full circle here, Martin. You mentioned Sykes-Picot, which I think is very, very interesting, 101 years ago. Is that unraveling? And for our viewers, that was the, uh, the French and the British uh, completely rewriting the, the entire uh, sovereign geography of the Middle East. 101 years old, is it unraveling? And what does it mean? You got 30 seconds, sorry, my friend, go ahead. <laughs> I really, I really hope it isn't unraveling. You know, I mean, what we haven't discussed in this show, and I'll just chop in as quickly as I can, is the Israeli threat. You know, Israel is looking now at Kurdistan and is salivating, looking at this country and thinking, can we take this country into our fold? And this is what we need to avoid at all costs, because that would just be a godsend to the Israelis, and that would create further division and further chaos and bloodshed in the Middle East. So let's hope that these people can get around the table and can find a solution soon, because the Israelis really are looking at Kurdistan now and thinking of it as a new frontier. Well, um, it's, uh, on that point, Iran. I'm glad you mentioned it, Mark, because it's the only country that was actually very much for the uh, referendum vote. Okay, many thanks to my guests in Beirut right. and in Erbil, and thanks to our viewers for watching us here at RT. See you next time, and remember, Crosstalk Rules.